Breaking news, Nigerians. INEC makes shocking declaration about 2023 elections, exposes those behind manipulation and bribery. Nigerians, this is getting tough. This is really getting tough. The outcome of the 2023 general elections in Nigeria has been marred by several controversies and disputations. Many stakeholders have raised concerns over the failure of certain systems, such as the Bimoda voter aggregation system, BIVAS, and the electronic transmission of results via the integrated results and the electoral verification, IV system. Recently, a source with the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has admitted that some Resident Electoral Commissioners, REC, worked to undermine the process. One of the most prominent cases was in Adamawa State, where the RCE, Hudu, Unasa, Hari, announced the All Progressive Congress APC governorship candidate, Senator Ashutu Dairu, as the winner before coalition had been completed. However, the source defended the INEC chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, and placed the blame for the drawbacks on politicians and some stakeholders who worked with partisan ROAC to sabotage the process. The source noted that some parties made attempts to stop the use of technology during the proofs and even went to court for four times. He commended the INEC chairman for his unwavering stance in using technology to drive credible polls. Post-election investigations showed that the beaver's, the beaver's performance was over 88% successful, vindicating the INEC chairman's use of technology. However, the source noted that some ROECs were deployed to states where they had sympathy for the ruling parties, making them clearly partisan. The source questioned whether INEC or the chairman could be blamed for this. INEC has taken disciplinary measures against partisan ROECs and has recommended the sacking of two ROECs to President Muhammad Buhari for their conduct during the elections. The INEC source further stressed the need for stakeholders to work with the Commission to ensure transparent and credible electoral process. The controversies surrounding the 2023 general elections highlight the need for greater transparency and accountability in the electoral process. It is essential to address the issues that hinder the proper functioning of the electoral systems to ensure credible and transparent elections in future. In conclusion, the source within Annex admission that some ROECs worked to undermine the 2023 general elections is a cause for concern. However, the disciplinary alleged, uh, measures taken against partisan ROECs demonstrate Annex commitment to ensuring transparency and credibility in the electoral process. It is crucial for all stakeholders to work together to address the issue hindering the proper functioning of the electoral systems to ensure transparent and credible elections. Okay, well, this is this is good. This is nice that INEC at least was able to identify this. But why did INEC rush to announce the president elect? When Nigerians were complaining about irregularities and this happened, that happened, they were too in haste. They were too in haste to announce, to make such announcement. Nigerians were, you know, crying. They were shouting about the manipulations of the results, the irregularities everywhere, even the failure of Beaver's machine and all that. If the INEC could... Understand that they, some people were bought by some ruling parties to work in their favor. 
So why did they not investigate the process of the election? Nigerians are, are really complaining. Because this 2023 presidential election, we have not, we've not seen this kind of controversies before. And after an election like this, people just they talk, they talk, they talk, they talk, they talk. You would have at least investigated. But did the same INEC also said that the election was transparent. The election was free and fair, knowing all that that happened. When we go tell ourselves the truth, you know the truth, but you don't want to talk. You they go front, they go back. And at the truth, they push you, make you talk the truth. Because you know all that happened. If not that God wants to disgrace the one that, that happened in Adamawa state. That is why it happens like that. Many of it like that happened. That, that was how they, in fact, God is, God is really God. You go and announce results. They never finish the collection of results. Because body, they shake you for the money when they don't give you. You go and announce sharp, 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 make you come out. But who do you have to blame? That is why they say, do good though. Do good as first became. Because the children, when they born follow you, then they look, then they look your footsteps. Now, what do you do? Now you then go follow. So who you won't blame? You understand? Nigerians are complaining of the presidential election process that produced Bola Ahmed Tinubu. That the INEC chairman shouldn't have announced the election results like that. That the election was full of it was was married with irregularities and all that manipulations, but he went ahead and announced the winner. So waiting will make another person not go do so. But you see, luck can run uh, 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 out of it. So he was caught, and he's going to go for prison for that. If they check proper, if they check this matter proper. So many people, when go go prison for this matter, then go plenty. Not be just only two of them. I'm dropping it here, guys. Can